I'm going to be showing you how to apply the latest BIOS update for a HP T730 Thin Client without having to have Windows installed on it. Now, these days applying BIOS updates to computers are pretty simple. Manufacturers will most likely package their BIOS updates as a Windows program, which you can just download, run, and after a reboot, you're all finished. But there are some cases where that may not be possible. If you're like me and many others, you might not be buying one of these thin clients to use as your Windows box. I myself got this T730 recently off eBay. Uh, I plan to use it as a firewall for my home network. So in other words, I'm going to be wiping its Windows installation in favor of the PFSense platform. So without Windows, you kind of left to wonder how can you still apply a BIOS update if it relies on having Windows? Well, despite HP also packaging their BIOS updates as a Windows program, um, it still offers alternative ways of applying a BIOS update. So we'll take a look at that here. I'm here at the HP support site, support.hp.com. I'm here on a window, my Windows computer, so you'll still need a Windows computer, keep in mind, to, do, to set this up, and a uh, spare flash drive. But first, we'll go to the software and drivers. Now here, you can select desktop, and you can enter the serial number of whatever you have and it'll take you to it but I don't have that so what we can do is go down here to the serial number or product name um, search so I'll look up T730 there's the thin client and the first thing you see is the software drivers and firmware so we'll go to that and this here is all the drivers you can install for this said thing client. This detects Windows 10 because that's what my computer I'm at is running. Um, this isn't relevant for the BIOS because you're going to download the same thing no matter what operating system it is. So once you expand this, you'll see the BIOS release date May 27, 2019. It, yeah, it's a, it's about a year old at this point, but if you're buying one of these off of eBay, chances are that there's going to be an out-of-date BIOS, so it's still a good idea to download this and check if it's the latest version and apply it if necessary. So just as simple as clicking download, and there's the prompt to save the file. I won't do it now because I already have this executable downloaded to my computer. So let's go ahead and run it. Prompt for my credentials. All right, and here we are. So you can click next, accept the terms. And this doesn't actually attempt to run the BIOS update on your computer. It asks where you want to save files. So it basically just extracts some contents to whatever folder you, you say. So it's going to a folder in my C drive. We'll let it do that. And once that's done, it will open up a page about the various ways on how to um, upgrade the BIOS. So the one we want to look at is this updating from computer setup. Um, the gist of this is to restart it and as it's starting up you see the HP logo you press F10 to enter computer setup and then there is a option will be an option in there to flash a what's called a system ROM and the key thing is here is that this method requires that a recovery USB flash drive be present which contains the BIOS file and flash utility so what that means is we'll need to plug in I have a flash drive here 
formatted so it's empty. Obviously it goes without saying, please make sure you're not erasing any f critical files off a of flash drive you have. Um, but let's go into the folder it made. And in here it talks about an executable being found in this win folder. So there it is, we'll launch that. Okay, let it check. And this first option here is to create a recovery flash drive. So we'll do that. Drive D, that is the flash drive I will do. And there's a format button here if you wanna use that. And it'll go through and copy its files. All right, that was created successfully. So the next part of this is to start up my thin client with this flash drive plugged in and get the BIOS updated. Okay, here is my HP T730. And this is my flash drive with the BIOS updater copy to it. Now I did some investigation off camera and by default, in this case, if you plug in a flash drive and turn this thing on, it'll detect the flash drive automatically and boot straight into boot straight into it, you know, regardless of whatever it is you have on there, be it BIOS update or a Windows install or a Linux install. So that makes that convenient, but a lot of times that's not the case. It might be set to boot from whatever internal storage is first, and so you still have to, you know, interrupt the startup to say, hey, I want to boot off a flash drive instead. So I'll be going through that course instead. So we go up here, I'll press the power button on this real quick, and then mash the F10 key and hope for the best. Here we are. And so when, once you're here, you'll see the option for a flash system BIOS. So let's go ahead, plug in my flash drive. There it is. From here, we'll go ahead and press enter. Okay, important BIOS update is available, and you can use the mouse with this. So it's a little janky, but I guess I can let this countdown timer take control here. And there it goes. Okay, update is complete. Um, and it looks like once this timer counts down, it's gonna proceed to load whatever's installed on your system. All right, so it rebooted and I was able to get back into the uh, setup screen. Um, and I can tell it's updated because at the bottom it says copyright 2019. Before this it said copyright 2016, so to me, that is an update. I hope you found this video useful, whether you're looking to get or already have an HP T730 and you're using it as a firewall, a server, um, a media PC, you know, anything that doesn't involve running Windows on it. Um, so thank you very much for watching and take care.